Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to everybody. Everyone who is watching right now, just tap the subscribe so that we can do and start this together. I'm going to be plating the crochets. Yes, of the curly braids. You're going to see how amazing it looks since we're in the quarantine and we're in the lockdown so right now i'm choosing to play it. Uh, my auntie we are staying together uh, at home and now you can see how we're doing it just at home so take a look and we keep on learning on how we can do the calibrates crochets trust me you will be learning something the secret here i would like to share with you i want you to see how i crochet my uh, my calibrates uh, there are things that you would want to learn uh, but you're going to see right now so please click on the subscribe and we do this together and if you're watching right now in a uh, united kingdom in Turkey, Netherlands, Oman, United Emirates, South Africa, and Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania. We love you so, so much. And please, you can share this video with your friends so that we get to learn everything that we're doing. So right now, I'm doing the corners. And remember, when we're doing most of the crochets that um, we want to be falling down or in a bob format like mostly we do these these uh this kind of uh, corners so this is how i'm trying to do try to look here very careful and see how i do my corners my corners are different if you try to say it like i played it from inside you see Yes, that's how, that's why it stays longer, like the threads are inside, you see, like I don't do it from outside, I don't know if you can try, it. like the way we always played cornrows, these big, big cornrows, yes, we played from outside, but these ones, the, the, the threads are inside, like if you try to see the way I move, uh, I move my hands you can see what I'm trying to mean so you see how it is so uh, you can also try to practice this way of plating corners and trust me you will like it you will like it so uh, I just uh, let's do this as fast so that you can see what I was trying to tell you Oh yes, like try to see here very careful, you see? I do it inside. You can see? This is what I'm trying to mean. My corners are always inside, just like that. Yes, not painful at all. Because I do it as soft as possible. So, yep, that's how I keep on doing my corners. Long lasting, I love my shanties. Shanties, I love, love my shanties. Yeah, shanties, I love, love my shanties. Yeah, shanties, I love, love my shanties. Yeah, shanties, I love, love my shanties. Wow, so you can see how I'm doing it. So the next step that I'm going to take, um, I'm going to see how I can get my invisible. <laughs> so let's crochet, let's crochet and you see what I was trying to mean. So me, myself, when it comes to crochets, I'm very, very speedy, but I mind what I'm doing. Like I am speedy, but soft. Like, uh, if you try to see, I make sure that my 
crotch doesn't stack the crotch hook it cannot get stuck at all so uh, uh this one i do it because if you try to look at my fingers i always use that thumbnail whenever i'm trying to crochet it. it's always there so i want you to look very clear let me try to change uh, the position so that uh, you see it very well let me try to change here uh, so, sorry sorry yes let me change like this so try to look at the finger when i'm crocheting this thumb finger it's always there i leave it there like that i don't uh, i don't leave uh, i don't leave the crochet to come itself so uh, i i make sure that it's always on top just like that and at times it's when uh, these corners are big so you don't hook like uh, to pass the the hook in the hole of the cornrow you can do it halfway you see how i'm doing it yes you can do it a halfway yes so that's how i keep on crocheting and trust me you will like it so you just do it slowly you see my hands slowly yes just like that that one was a bit hard you know you keep on touching the tips to see if the crochet is hard if it's hard just put it here behind and you you look for the soft one the one that you can put in front because you have to be very careful you still that one was soft i can put in front you have to be very careful when it comes to the front hair so that uh you keep on maintaining someone's hairline <laughs> so we did it and it good uh, we did it it was a bit late and now it rain out <laughs> in the night so i'm trying to give you the light so that you see it perfectly so this is how we keep on doing the crotches and trust me there is that finishing like when you have finished what are those other things that you can do to impress your client? So you're also going to see when I finish, what do I do so that my work can be very perfect. I love my crochets, I love my looks. Oh yeah, it's cold and twist. It's easy to maintain. It's washable light on your head. It brings no dandruff in your hair. Long lasting. Wow, so what I can do, I can just try to trim her eyebrows and when I'm cutting someone's eyebrow, I try to be very careful because mostly we have to make our eyebrows remain big. So yeah, I make sure that I just try to trim only down so that I can leave it and it remains very big. You see what I do just down like that, you see yeah yes that's like that i like it that's way. so that's how i keep on doing it and wow you can see how it's gonna end i don't want to say more but just watch it yourself i'm by the names of maurice the crochet master and this is why they call me the crochet master i sign out see you guys so just watch how it's gonna end and you will like it you will love it Mwah. see you guys it's easy to maintain it's washable light on your head brings no dandruff in your hair